And think how many romantic comedies are based on the same formula. Mm -hmm. the, the people come together and they try to adapt and adjust to each other so they can fall in love. It's almost like a contrived way of trying to fall in love through hiding and protecting. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, that's always part of the formula, the big blow up comes. You try to smooth things over and please things and adapt and adjust to what someone else is thinking or you believe someone else is feeling or whatever. I call that people pleasing and the bad day will come. Yes. The bad day will come because it's, it's, it's like trying to go against the healing laws of the whole universe by adapting and adjusting to a lie and believing that that adjustment to the lie is compassion. Mm -hmm. You see how sneaky the ego is? Because if, if it can get you believing that you're being compassionate by protecting other people, by protecting people's feelings and so forth, anybody knows the value of of intentional communities, the value of open communication, the value of having friends that will tell you things from their heart and not tell you what they think that you want to hear, but because they love you, tell it to you straight and say, you might want to take a look at this, you might want to take a look at that. Those are angelic reflections of dear close friends bringing the Holy Spirit through them in messages to your mind about how you have to heal. And there actually is a lot of darkness that has to come up. Why would you keep pushing it down? Why would you keep covering it over, trying to make a pretty, pretty world, you know, when actually the ring of fear has still not been exposed? And it's, you're going to have to face the ring of fear sooner or later. You want to become fully conscious. You want all the darkness to come up so you can let it go out. A parallel in this world is like if, if anybody has ever seemed to have the flu and you know that feeling of the, the upchuck coming <laughs> where you try as you may to hold it down and you realize it's, that's not a strategy that is going to work. Even though you may seem to delay it a little bit, it doesn't, you can't. You, it's part of the, the seeming healing of up and out. That's very symbolic of how it works in the, with the emotions in the mind. The wound has to be exposed as well. And then there's a reinterpretation and a healing that has to come in the mind from reorienting and reinterpreting once that wound is exposed. But as long as no one's talking about the wound and no one's even acknowledging the wound, then it's just projection people-pleasing, protectionism, that's what this whole world is. Even when such things are brought up like terrorism, as if you're going to try to hunt external terrorists with uh, weapons and putting terrorists in prisons and everything. You see the whole system of this world is backwards and upside down. The terrorist is the ego in the mind. It's these dark thoughts, these attack thoughts, that are buried in the subconscious mind, that's the terrorist. And the way that you heal it is expose it and see that it had no real effect. It was just, you were drawing forth unreal effects and circumstances while you still believed in it. And then when you let it go and no longer believe in it anymore, amazingly the whole world heals. The whole world lights up. A shelter for your heart. In covery with roses, the color of the sky.